guys, it's me again, Larabam Shai Fatumbi, and I'm all about awakening the entrepreneur in you. I know it's there and I want to get it out. So today my topic is so interesting. Um, it's just, I'm feeling it, my, it's boiling in me. I, I just want to dive into it and get it all out. So my topic is also very interesting. And my topic is, it's time for you to get the coronavirus sense okay and what does that mean to me and what does that mean to you okay now in my, my last few videos i remember i talked about the fact that if you feel you have the entrepreneurial thing in you and you want to pursue entrepreneurship as a lifelong uh, thing that you want to do take your time get into it if you're working somewhere you don't like it have an exit plan and all of that but and that was good that was good for them but between that time and now a lot has happened a whole lot has happened you know and this is what leadership is about good leaders must plan for the inevitable good leaders must uh, plan and uh, when craziness happens you adjust your plans so for me I remember I said at the beginning of the year how I um, I went on my holiday set my goals did my vision board all of that came back to start executing my goals and I have started executing my goals but for me a major part of my goal is China major major so now we can't go to China and we can't go to just about most places where I do my business so I have so now my, my what I've been doing in the last few weeks is to replan and this is born out of my own replanning out of my own re-strategizing and going back to the drawing board because i don't know when i can go to china it's not even on my plan right now until everything is okay when that is going to happen i don't know so what am i trying to say here you don't have time you have to make up your mind now and this is what I mean when I say it's time to get the coronavirus sense. As of today in Nigeria, dollar is already about 370. Hey, there's Wala. <laughs> there is Wahala. <laughs> Things, you know, I, I really I don't want to be a prophet of doom. I don't, you know, I, I, I believe in positive thinking, positive talking, faith, and all of that. But I also have sense that God gave me okay and I know that is important to plan okay you have to plan for what is ahead what is ahead I don't know but right now it's not looking too good if dollar is already 370 so if you're a business person already you have to go back to the drawing board you have to plan again if you're one of those I was talking to before and I said you know you have to start something this is the time so what do I want to talk about for those that I already said in this 2020 I must start my business I must do something I'm passionate about I must leave this dead-end job I've been hating for as long as I can remember you're yeah, the one I'm talking to you know for me this is the problem I have with most with, you know I remember when uh, Buhari talked about you know the Nigerian youth that they are lazy so many people were upset you know I was upset you know I, I didn't think that was good talk you know and I really don't think that Nigerian youth are lazy. I don't think so. But I think that they are not humble. That I think that they are not humble. Okay? I think that they need to, people need to do certain things to get to where you're going. And this is what my talk of today is all about. That if you have not obtained sense before now, let Corona give you sense. Okay? To do the needful do what you need to do there are certain businesses you can start right now with as little as 5,000 10,000 20 50 100 depending on your level depending on what you have and I know that some people will say ah uh, even that 10,000 you're saying I don't have it and this is why I said that if you need to you know I had this friend okay she she needed a nanny and people had come she, she wasn't getting a suitable person then one day a graduate came 
to look for nanny work and she was like so reluctant she was like i don't want to employ this girl how and she kept on saying she said, you're a graduate how do i why would i give you this job blah 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 the girl said i have looked for a job i need this job blah, blah. eventually my friend grudgingly employed her and the girl was amazing within three four months or thereabout of working for my friend she had started traveling with her she was she had started going to singapore because my friend travels a lot and as at the time the girl came to look for this job she did not know there were traveling techs involved and she didn't do this house girl work forever she did it she raised money and i, I want to believe today she's doing something she really wants to do and this is how life is there are times you have to do what you don't want to do so that you can get what you want to get i did that so i remember after school i was already a law graduate i passed you know that was not my problem but I remember I wanted to have my own money to do my own business so I yes I got the opportunity to travel I know everybody doesn't get that opportunity but then again we have people that get the opportunity to travel and they don't do nothing with that opportunity and we also have people that are in Nigeria have amazing opportunities and they don't do nothing with that opportunity what did I do with my own opportunity good question I got a job okay working uh, I did three jobs. In fact, at was it not? Okay, I was doing three jobs. I worked at Upper Cross. I was cleaning a bar. I was cleaning an office. Or, and it, I, I had just a limited time to do this, cause I had an agreement with my dad. It was on that condition he let me go. He said, once law school resumes, I call you back. Come back. I said, okay. So I had, and I didn't even know when law school would call us back. So I was doing everything I could do to raise the money I needed. Okay, so I did those odd jobs for six months. When my dad called me back, he said, I give you one week to land back in Nigeria, you're going to law school. By the time it, you know, all was said and done, I'd raised almost 2,000 pounds because I bought nothing. I did not, I was just saving my money to start business and it really worked for me. Okay, I had some other support system, but truly, 90% of everything came from what I did, from my hard work, from humbly. You know, I'll get to that bar sometimes and I'll knock because the bar where I work, the husband and wife lived upstairs. Press the bell and the woman will be like, oh, is it the cleaner that is downstairs? And the thing will pepper me. I'll be like, hey, click. But that was what it was. That was what it was. And I did it happily, you know, okay, maybe not too happily, <laughs> okay. But I did it. I knew what I was after and I got what I was after and I when I got my money together I had my plan and I executed my plan beautifully well when I was called to come back bought goods came back business started um, 20 years later I'm still in the business okay so what am I trying to say to the young people out there go and do the needful I don't know what is going to happen in Nigeria okay where they are done budget and they had planned a certain amount that was going to come in from oil Corona has come and the story has changed. What is your own story going to be? Are you still going to be waiting for a job, looking for this and talking about what is not working? There are many things you can do. So let me let me go into them. For me, maybe because I'm into buying and selling, that is always my number one thing. This is, and don't tell me you don't have money, you don't have, I've told you, and don't tell me you don't have an uncle or aunt to help you. Go and look for some odd job to do raise capital enter we say market enter karimu or somewhere buy stuff come out of there bring it to town repackage it rearrange it add your swagger to the thing and sell sell that is what you need to do and for me really buying and selling is one of the fastest ways to get get it going on get your capital you don't have to do it forever okay but you have to do something so for me this is one of the easiest things sell clothes sell clothes okay these days bend down okay whatever they call it it is raining okay people sell that people sell that you know why because there are no jobs more people don't have jobs more people don't have money and they still need to wear clothes because we know that Nigerians were diehards we still want to move so that is with 10,000, you're in that business. With 10,000, you're in that business. Makeup. I remember one of the ladies we interviewed, Eberi. She started her makeup with 
business with 15,000. She just went to, I, I don't know how much it is now, Tara and all of that. She did the training, business was on. Today, she's everywhere. Cake making. Gogzi started her cake making life with 10,000 naira from her kitchen. That is doable. You know, again, I, I just have to say this. A lot of young ladies, you know, you, you, you're you spending the little money you have. You don't need to be an aristo. It's crazy. And you don't need to buy all of those weaves that guys are not even impressed with. They didn't even notice. Do something creative with that small money you have. Okay? That small money you have, hit the road. Learn the cake making skill. That is a very lucrative business right now. Let me go on on my hairdressing. So, uh, I have a store in Maraba, and you know that building at the back, the disadvantaged side of the building. The there are a lot of salons there, and guess what? Almost everybody that has a salon in that place is a graduate. And because the owner of the the person in charge was so he felt for them because th these were people that said they had looked for jobs they couldn't get so he allowed them to be paying monthly as opposed to others that were paying yearly and all of that so that was and when i heard that i thought it was so touching i come and see the amazing hair I, I took a tour of the place amazing things coming out of this place because they are all graduates but this is what they need to do and you'll be shocked now some of them are not just making hair they're selling hair products and maraba is is a community is a country of its own customers all of that so laundry business okay you're a graduate you're there going up and down go and do go and take people's clothes take take it off them okay wash it better and cheaper now where they are taking it to to dry clean right now that is a business to do. Again, I know someone that did this business, you know, as at that time, he was actually not a graduate, okay, when he started. But this is what he used to finance his life till he became a graduate and he married on that same business, you know, and all of that. So there, there's so much. Car wash. Incidentally, car wash is big business in America, okay? A lot of the people that own the amazing car washes, they are, they are they're graduates, they, they are people that went to school. It's an amazing business. So why not bring your graduate swagger and your graduate sense into the, the car washing business and make it amazing? Why not do it that you can come to my office, pick up the car, you know, take my key because I can track you and all of that, drive the car to wherever, wash it, do, and, and bring it back. There, there's so much to do. There's so much, you know. There's so many uh, services that one can provide. Bead making is amazing. Soap making is amazing. You know, people need soap all the time. And babes must do something fashionable. And one thing I know is that if you do bead beading long enough, you do it for a year, two, three, five, you must improve on it. You, mu you know, I know that there's one Nigerian guy that uh, CNN um, talked about him some time, not too long ago, into bead making and all of that. Started small and the thing grew and all of that there's a lot going on there tailoring is also good I so there's one lady again I heard about in um, somewhere somewhere in Abuja and they said oh this lady she's amazing she's good and they introduced me to her the day I got there she was wearing her compassion uniform I'm like uh -huh. because her finishing was amazing the service was amazing the you know even the way she'll talk to you give you the time to come she will meet up everything because she brought that graduate sense into this work so and there are many people like that okay if you are if you think it's something you can do go and do what you need to do to acquire the, the skill that you need and while you are waiting to acquire the skill you need hit will say market and go and buy something that you can sell okay stop complaining there's money out there to be made if you are willing to humble you. i don't think the nigerian problem is laziness is more of pride. People don't want to humble themselves to do the needful. Okay? Home cooking. So I am looking for someone to cook in my house on Saturday. I don't want to cook all the time. Okay? I've not seen. <laughs> there, so if you if you're doing that, 
and you are not in my face. You are not on social media where I can find you easily. I say, come to my house on Saturday and cook this and that for me. Then you have not done a good job. Most Nigerian babes know how to cook. Turn that into a business. You know, it mustn't be until you are like Bio Back and you are doing big scale catering. All that is good. But she also started somewhere. So start somewhere. Start by coming to my house to cook. And come and do the first cooking for me free. <laughs> so there's a lot that can go on there. Catering, small chops, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I probably will not do um, cooking for any amount. It's not my thing. But for a lot of babes, it's their thing. They love to do it, okay? Even those that you're yeah, just maybe a full-time housewife, you love to cook for your hobby, this is the time to monetize your skill. This is the time to monetize what you've learned and what you've been cooking for Oga all of that time. Oga only and the kids are enjoying your skill. Monetize your skill. There's a lot going on there. Um, honey, okay, I so I met some women you know, so this woman, you know, there was a time I, I did a program for women that I wanted to empower to to do certain, you know, to help them take their business to the, to the next level. A lot of the women I encountered were into honey business and the challenge they had was they were sourcing for the honey from Adamawa. The challenge they had was that it was seasonal and that when it, when it was in season, it was so, so cheap. But they didn't have enough capital to buy enough when it's really cheap and have it to sell all year round, okay? So I, I learned so much from these women. Already they were buying the little they could, they bring it to town, package it. The packaging wasn't fantastic, but they were selling it in, to bankers, they were moving around with it, and I, I just saw a future there. And I know that, you know, that money you're spending on that Brazilian weave and all of those crazy things women do is enough money to go to Adamawa, buy this thing when it's in season, bring it to the right place to the, with good packaging, okay? And get all your NAVDAC approvals and all of that, which is some, the challenge some of these women have. They just sell it. They don't have any NAVDAC approval. They don't have all of these things. This is why you went to school to be the bridge. There's something there. To, I, another one of the women I met was into uh, tomato paste, you know, she would package it. You know, bankers and a lot of this career women, they don't have time, okay? So she has done the tomato pepper onion mix and she's selling it. So you just buy it, sweet tasting mix, hit it. Once you put it on fire, the thing is, before you say whatever, the thing is ready. So there are so, so, so many businesses, so many businesses. There's internet business. If you don't have the skill, acquire the skill. The people that have this skill, they don't have two heads. Social media marketing. For me, for the longest time, I've been looking for someone to do social media, to handle my social media marketing. And I have a number of friends that have said, please, you know, when you get, we need, we've not found till date. And I know there are a lot of young people that have that skill, okay? And I get that. You want to work for yourself, you want to, but you can, it's something you can do it. You can, you, you can do mine, do yours, do about five, ten people's own. You're getting the money. And if you don't want to do it forever, you don't have to do it forever. But do it while you can do it. Raise money and take your business to the next level. That's what it's about. Corona sense. You have to, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Small scale farming. Okay. Fish, this, that, you know. I'm not a farmer. I don't know everything about farming. But I know that. Uh... You know, um, one of the times we, uh, we were training teachers to teach entrepreneurship in, in the public secondary schools in Abuja, one of the schools, I think, uh, I, I, I don't know which one now, but one of the schools, they are already, the, 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 they are, their teacher, I think they are a Greek teacher and the students, they are already doing farming in the school. That was amazing for me. And I think it's one of the biggest uh, public secondary schools in Abuja. They are already doing farming. So there's a lot that, and they started with just little money, okay? So a lot can be done there. So let me end with what I said, okay? For me, but this is what I know. This is what my area of specialty, buying and selling. And, but before, before I go there, let me say my no-no's, okay? Blogging. If you're just starting, and that's the only thing you want to be 
the hunger eh? before the thing will catch you will see fire so you better be doing something else while if you, you are really passionate about blogging and all of that it's good okay but we know we know it takes a long time you don't have to suffer that so bad here okay do something else like buying and selling hit the go to say okay, go and buy sweet and re, come and repackage it and sell it to parents sell it to kids take it to school there's so much there's so much buy wristwatches you'll be shocked what you can get in Busey market you'll be shocked okay so contractor is not work <laughs> Government contractor is not work and you can't build a life on that you can't build a family on or on that a lot of people have gotten into trouble because of it's good if you get it and it happens okay good but what most people do is to start pursuing the next one instead of putting that money in a business like buying and selling okay and Olga let madam do something because we should get corona sense so even if you don't want her to go out for whatever reason there's so many things you can encourage her to do at home there's so many businesses you can support her to do today in 2020 there are too many things to do it's good that she cooks and she cleans and takes care of you and the kids and all of that but you know that we don't get paid for that okay and we need to get paid because this is 2020 it's good for her to have her own money so that she can sort her little problems and sort out one or two things and it will help you when you are stranded in case you are stranded so support her now that you can so that she can also be doing something she can be productive and she can add to the family finances and help when necessary so with this few points of mine <laughs> i believe i've convinced you that if you were delaying before there is no time to delay any further. This is the time to get coronavirus sense. Because if dollar is already three something, we don't know where we're going. Do the needful, okay? Do what you need to do to get by. Plan for the future because we don't know what the future is even looking like now. The whole world right now, even corona, we don't we don't know what is going to happen. So this is the time to jump in. This is the time to dive in and make your dreams happen and it's good to dream big it's good to plan big but it's sensible and smart to start small hit the market buy something sell it go and look for a service provide a service humble yourself and you can, once you humble yourself you can only go up from there so if you've not subscribed to this channel do so now hit the like button subscribe because I'm gonna be in your face with the many videos like this especially the young people I started my business when I was 26 okay and that has helped me to you know do a lot get a lot done I've made mistakes I've, I've lost money I've done a lot of crazy things but I've, been, I've had enough time to bounce back I've had enough time to to learn from my mistakes start over and be better and better so you need to do something about what is in your heart what is in your mind today see you at the next video and um, like i said subscribe to this channel hit the like button and see you next time